Frogmen are occasionally drawn to the dance floor where they attract uninhibited hips. When this voluptuous miss named Ariel senses resistance to her strokes, she simply creates a rapid decompression that disables her opponent. She marks the spot or blemish, then uses her knife in a forward thrust movement. Short thrusts, cuts, and her fabulously tapered legs and firmly packed breasts are the last thing you see. So breathtaking, they will kill sea beasts, too. Riding tandem as the bumps and grinds issue from the depths may be more delightful. Not just any depths, if they are 38, 25, 38, and your opponent, Melody, has long, reddish brunette hair. Most of her teen years were spent in elemental thrusting, softly rounded as the motion of a knife cutting the throat of an enemy frogman, but she handles them gently. Frogmen and back cuts seem to these two girls like demand far exceeding supply. Virginia and Patricia are shapely phantoms who enchantingly will grab the knife wrist of the paying customers, then use spear or knife to cut their air hoses. The shamelessly lazy Erica uses explosive projectiles. There's nothing better to draw sharks. An equally cute expert with a nicely tanned torso, Patty, comes equipped with a six-foot trident. A more disconcerting opponent is Lolita, underwater cuddle mate with big measurements and provocative tricks. She was the tomboy next door, but now she has a luscious little bit of underwater weaponry. She pouts prettily, and her submarine pistol is hydrodynamically stabilized and fires propulsive darts. Once she has gutted her opponent, she spends the rest of the day in the sun. This Mediterranean miss is Artemis. She has a lithe little body and a ballistic spear gun tied to her wrist thong, her only concession to non-nudity. Few pout as prettily as she lures the opposing frogman over her seabed and holds him to her chest and smashes his face mask with the semi-automatic buds of her weaponized breasts. <laughs>